Hello again. My name is Osmanu Abubakar. I am here today to take you through a formula called the Heron's formula. Now, there are so many ways in which you can be asked to calculate the area of a rectangle dependent on the information given. So today, the purpose of this lecture is to take you through a special circumstance or instance where you may be asked to find the area of a rectangle, giving three sides. So, I'll write this. Heron's formula. All right. Now, the basic way to find the area of a rectangle we all know is the formula area equals half times base times height, which is the same as base times height all over 2. This is a basic formula we all know. That is when you are given a right angled triangle where you have the height and the base. So for example, if we are given this, We are given this right angle triangle, let's say A, B, C, and then we know the height to be 4 centimeters, the base to be 2 centimeters, and you are asked to find the area of this triangle, then you are going to say that A equals half base times height. Half the base we know is 2 times the height we know is 4 without wasting much time this will cancel this so a equals therefore you have 4 centimeters squared or you can also multiply 2 and 4 which is 8 8 over 2 which is 4 so you have succeeded in finding the area of this right angle triangle a b c d all right. Now, assuming you are also given this type of triangle, this is not a right triangle or a triangle, a right angle triangle. So, in fact, all the sides are not equal. So, um, this is scaling triangle where. You don't have a height or more so you are given the height so the height could be drawn like this let me take the height yeah I should have had the flat Alright, let me not confuse you. Let me take the height from here. From here. So all right. Okay. So if you have such a triangle, sorry, yeah, a triangle, and then you are giving this as the base. And then this as the height you can also find the area of such a triangle all right now assuming you are given another type of triangle let's take this
let me extend this all right so we have this triangle we have this to be a b and c great now assuming a is three centimeters b is four centimeters and c is five centimeters how do you calculate the area of this triangle pause the video if you want to give it a try if you don't kindly stick and stay and follow me all right now this is where we are going to use the heron's formula now the heron's formula is stated as follows a equals then a big square root like this then you have s into bracket s minus a to bracket s minus b then into bracket s minus c now i will state this and then explain what each of the letters means all right now i will say where s is the semi perimeter semi perimeter of of the triangle and a b and c are the three side lengths side length of the triangle all right now our main business is to be able to find the semi perimeter of the triangle and of course when we say perimeter it is the total distance around a particular field or plane figure or whatever now semi means half of it so we are going to be able to calculate the perimeter of this triangle then find half of it that will give us the semi perimeter so first of all we find the perimeter the perimeter is going to be 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is I think 12 so 12 centimeters now s is the semi perimeter so you are going to say that 12 over 2 which is 6 centimeters so now we have our semi perimeter of this triangle we have the other dimensions that is a b and c we only plug these figures into the formula and we are good to go so i'll state the formula again a equals big root s into bracket s minus a s minus b and s minus c so i only put in the figures my s is six what is a a is so i will put another six here which is this so minus a a is three from the diagram s is six minus b is four s is six minus c is five now i will only simplify so six into bracket this will give me three this will give me two and this will give me one still i'll simplify six here if i multiply the whole of this i'll get six so i'll put this here so this is the same as six times six which is the same as square root of six times square root of six now this will give me square root of six or squared so that this square will cancel this square root therefore the area of this triangle let me say a b c 
your triangle ABC is 6 centimeters squared. What we essentially did here to, it was to apply the concept of sets. You can also multiply this and that, which is 36. Uh, the square root of 36 is 6 centimeters squared. So, if you are given a triangle such as this and you are asked to find the area, you are not, be, you are not going to be able to use this formula, half base times height. You are going to use the Heron's formula, which I have, in fact, stated down here. A equals big root S into bracket S minus A to bracket S minus B into bracket S minus C. I have also defined my variables. You only do that, you plug everything into the formula and you are good to go. So this is that. Join me in my next lecture to introduce you to another instance where you'll be able to find the area of a triangle. My name is Osman Abubakar. Thank you. Bye-bye.